I believe at some point the world will awaken to their true nature, bringing everyone to the realization that we are all one. Everyone will come to understand that separation is an illusion and not real. Eventually the world will be at peace and full of love. One of the most beautiful things about this spiritual journey is the realizations that bring so much love. The realization of oneness is amazing. Coming to the realization that you are everything and everything is you is a very warm and peaceful welcome home. However, many people have the question, how am I everything? How are we all one? It's a common question I see in the comments. After this video, you will not only have a clear understanding, but perhaps even a glimpse into this experience of oneness. First, you must accept that you have been fooled. It's easy to fool someone, but it's much harder for people to accept that they have been fooled. Your whole life you have been living in the illusion of separation. You believe you are an individual with a personality, a belief system, and opinions. You believe you have a life, and the identification with the character creates the illusion of separation. You may believe your friend is separate from you, using distance as your proof of separation. These bodies are separate, but the truth is you are not the body nor are you the mind. Nobody is the body, and nobody is the mind. The only thing that doubts this truth is the mind because it has been believing in the belief that you are the body for so long. When you go against that belief, the mind tries to defend it. However, this truth isn't found through the mind. You won't come to the realization of oneness or the realization that you are not the body through a concept. It will be from a direct experience and you can experience this right now. What you are right now is already present. I want you. Once you realize you are not the body and mind, the next question is, what am I? I like to compare our nature to space. Look around, you can't see space. You can't grab it, you can't think about it, you can't imagine it, but we know it's there. Though it's not an object, it's not possible to be aware of space without it. So just let go of everything you think you know and accept that you are space not an acceptance from the mind. But truly take this to be what you are in this very moment through your direct experience. If you have realized that you are space, that means everyone is this space as one. You are literally everything. You are the foundation of everything. You are the source. Nothing can exist without this space, without you. Realize how everything exists within you, the body, the mind, all other bodies, and minds. Your city, your country, the universe, everything exists within you. These are facts about our nature, and you don't need to think about this to know it. You don't have to believe it. You can clearly observe and know it to be true. Dreams should be clear evidence and enough for you to realize that you are literally everything. The same rules apply to this so-called awakened reality. Nothing changes, you are still dreaming. We are all God as one. God is just having multiple dreams. You have been programmed to identify with these dream characters, completely forgetting about what you truly are. During dreams, the most bizarre things can be happening, and in the moment you are convinced it's all real, you believe you are the body and mind within that dream. But when you wake up, you realize it was just a dream. The realization that it's all a dream happens in this awakened reality as well. You realize that you were never this character, and this character never truly existed. Jesus wasn't Jesus. 
Jesus is a label given to a vessel that God was experiencing. Jesus is just a character. Whatever your name is, it's just a label. It's just a story of the mind. You're God acting, but you just became attached to your role and character. These characters don't actually exist. Who you think you are is just a creation of the mind, another illusion, not real. Yes, there are bodies here, but there's no body in these bodies. You can only find who you believe yourself to be through the mind, meaning it's not real. You can see this and realize this to be true for yourself. Drop your beliefs and realize the truth. The truth isn't found through concepts. There is no truth in what I say. There is no truth in language or books. Words and concepts are all just pointers to the truth. No need to believe what spiritual teachers say. Go to what they are pointing to. For example, if I say the present moment is the only moment we truly ever have, don't just say, okay, I now have that knowledge and mental understanding. Prove to yourself that this is the only moment you can't thank the present moment, nor create it, nor imagine it. You can only be it, you can only experience it. Go to the experiences that these words are pointing to. That's the only way. With the concept of oneness, I would say believe that separation doesn't exist, no matter what. Just accept it because you can't experience oneness if you're still believing in the illusion of separation. That belief is keeping that illusion alive. This also applies to believing that you are the body and mind and this character. If you keep second-guessing and having doubts, all you are doing is keeping these illusions alive. And it's not like you're getting rid of something because these illusions never actually existed. When you begin having these amazing realizations, you'll just see that it's always been this way. The illusion of separateness is a powerful one. It is the root of all suffering and the cause of our feeling lost and alone. We have been conditioned to identify with our bodies, our minds, and our personal stories. We cling to these identities, defending and protecting them as if they were real, but they are just thoughts, beliefs, and concepts that we have accepted as true. You truly understand and embody the realization that you are not your thoughts. You free yourselves from the limitations of the mind. You step out of the illusion and into the vastness of our true nature. It is a shift from identifying with the character to recognizing ourselves as the witness, the awareness behind the thoughts. This is the path of awakening of remembering who you truly are beyond the masks and identities you have adopted. As you release your attachment to these illusions, you open ourselves to the infinite possibilities that exist beyond the confines of the mind. You step into a space of pure potential where creation and manifestation arise from a place of unity and oneness. It is a place of deep peace, love, and joy that is always available to us when you drop the veil of separation. The path to awakening is unique for each individual, but there are common threads that unite the journey. It often involves a period of questioning, a sense of discontent, or a feeling of being lost. This is the ego's resistance to the truth a last-ditch effort to maintain its sense of control and separateness. But with perseverance and surrender, the veil lifts and you see the beauty and simplicity of what has always been here. The truth is always simpler and the mind can comprehend.
Eventually, the truth will begin rising within your experience. You'll start realizing how these things exist within you, and you are not them. If you accept that we are all one, oneness will begin rising in your experience, and you will clearly be able to look past appearances and egos. It's very peaceful, and from peace, joy, and love will rise. If we want the world to change, just focus on changing yourself. Everything is a reflection of you, literally because you are everything. If you change your reality within to love and peace, that will be the reality you experience. I am truly excited to see the rollout of this great awakening soon. We will all be together.